Tonight on this episode of SUTV World News, a recap of the first day of the UN General Assembly and outcry in Mexico after dozens of children turn up missing. All that and more right here on SUTV News. Forty-three students are missing in the Mexico state of Guerrero, and the citizens are protesting. SUTV's Nolan Hoffman has the story. It's been almost six years since 43 students from the Mexican state of Guerrero went missing in Iguala, Mexico, and some people in that state have not forgotten them. Protests turned violent Tuesday as monuments and offices were vandalized. According to the governor of that state, a pickup truck was also set on fire. The governor says there are no reports of injuries so far, and that there are no plans to bring in the police or National Guard to intervene. Mexican President Lopez Abiredo says he will meet with the parents of the 43 missing students this Saturday to update them on the investigation. This is Nolan Huffman reporting with SUTV News. A busy day one at the 75th UN General Assembly with the pandemic and U.S.-China tensions taking center stage. As U.S. President Donald Trump blamed China for the spread of the virus, his Chinese counterpart called for global cooperation. CNN's Richard Roth has more. For In this unprecedented virtual United Nations high-level General Assembly week, presidents and prime ministers were told to keep their remarks to under 15 minutes. President Donald Trump didn't have that problem with one of the shorter speeches at seven minutes, but he wasted no time in digging into China. We must hold accountable the nation which unleashed this plague onto the world, China. In the earliest days of the virus, China locked down travel domestically while allowing flights to leave China and infect the world. China condemned my travel ban on their country, even as they canceled domestic flights and locked citizens in their homes. China's ambassador used his opportunity to introduce his president to return fire on President Trump. China resolutely rejects the baseless accusation against China. The COVID virus was not the only reason President Trump attacked China. The United Nations must hold China accountable for their actions. In addition, every year, China dumps millions and millions of tons of plastic and trash into the oceans overfishes other countries' waters, destroys vast swaths of coral reef, and emits more toxic mercury into the atmosphere than any country anywhere in the world. The Chinese president made some promises regarding fighting climate change in his own country. We aim to have CO2 emissions peak before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. The Chinese president said his nation does not want a hot or cold war with anyone and warned of a clash of civilizations to come, saying, though, that the world should cooperate, at least, against the COVID-19 virus. Russia's president, Putin, in a rare appearance at the U.N., said his country is ready to share what it develops with its vaccine attempts. The United States is waging a strong campaign to reimpose international sanctions on Iran. The Iranian President Rouhani had this response to the United Nations. We are not a bargaining chip in U.S. elections and domestic policy. Any U.S. administration after the upcoming elections will have no choice but to surrender to the resilience of the Iranian nation. And finally, this promise for next year from the U.S. President. I am supremely confident that next year, when we gather in person, we will be in the midst of one of the greatest years in our history and, frankly, hopefully, in the history of the world. Despite the appeals of the U.N. Secretary General, the speeches reveal that there are still huge divisions among the major powers on this, the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Richard Roth, CNN, United Nations. The Vatican has recently come out and said they completely oppose euthanasia, calling it, quote, an evil act. SUTV's Nolan Hoffman has more. The Vatican has issued its strongest condemnation of euthanasia and assisted suicide. In a document called The Good Samaritan, the Catholic Church says euthanasia is an evil act and a crime against human life that can never be justified. 
text also says those who approve laws in favor of euthanasia or assisted suicide or accomplices of a grave sin that others will execute. Portugal and Spain, both traditional Catholic countries, are considering legalizing euthanasia. With SGTV News, this is Nolan Huffman. Embattled Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko was inaugurated as president on Wednesday. The Belarusian state press reports Lukashenko assumed the office after taking an oath. Several hundred people were invited to the ceremony at the Palace of Independence. Lukashenko was declared the winner of the presidential election in August, allegedly winning 80% of the vote. But hundreds of thousands have taken to the streets since the protests of the election over recent weeks, Lukashenko and state security have tightened control, forcibly removing from the country or detaining leading figures of the opposition. And with that, we'll be signing off from this episode of SUTV World News. I'm Adam Beam. Make sure you follow SUTV on, on our social media pages at SUTV News and check out our website at SUTVNews.org. See you next Wednesday.